All right. So I see. Uh, uh, let's start with you first, uh, Cliff. Um, let's start here. Who are you, and what role do you play at Netstar? Yeah. So that when you give me that slapper on my wrist, I know exactly who's. Who's. You know, slapper <laughs> something else. We must be careful now. Cliff, so tell me, what role do you play? You're from Netstar. Yes, I'm from Netstar. I'm the chief technology officer. So I look ah. after all the product development, all the building of our technology, and all our all our products that we. Build. Oh, okay. Let me give you an opportunity, Jay. A quick one to punch yourself. Who exactly is Net Star, and uh, why are you guys here? Yeah. So I, I, I think uh, hopefully many people have heard of us. But uh, I mean, what we really do is we we do two things really. We we give people the ability to take our services to kind of give them some peace of mind with their vehicles, yeah. so that in case they get stolen, we uh, have a nineteen. Over a ninety percent recovery rate. So if your vehicle gets stolen, we go and find that vehicle <laughs> when it gets stolen. But the other thing we're doing, and I guess that's the the more interesting side, the I guess the, the nicer side, is that we really have a fantastic consumer mobile app, mm-hmm. and that if you install our tracking devices, you can see where your loved ones are, you can see where children are, you can yeah. share trips with each other. So if somebody's going on a long drive, you can say I'm going from here to here. In the app, you can share that trip, and you can see where each other are. And, you know, people are kind of doing that with phones today, but we all know when you do that on your yeah. phone, your battery goes flat, you forget to take your phone with you. The great thing about this is it's always in your car all the time. Oh, because and, you've got the app in your car. Yeah, well, we have a, we've installed a device in the car, and then oh. we have a really nice app on your phone. So you oh. can see where your car is, or if you're a small business and you want to see where all your, 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 uh, your employees are, you can see it through the app. So that's kind of what we do. And then the, the bigger thing that we do for, for our commercial customers is then, we have services for, for truckers, for um, fleet operators, for small businesses like that are companies that are here today to see all their vehicles. So if you're a florist and you want to know where your vehicles are, um, we can do very basic routing and optimization, those kind of things. So really what we're trying to do is make sure that the, the data that we have, that, yeah. that, that, that location data, we can use to help businesses run better businesses. How do you get your vehicles? Where are they? How can you make decisions on who goes where, yeah. when, and how do you hopefully save fuel, have better drivers? And then the last thing, and I'm talking a lot, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 absolutely <laughs> perfect with me. <laughs> yeah. The last thing is, is this, this whole camera thing that's coming into the world. Okay. So we more and more, uh, we started sort of in, 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 in expensive vehicles, in large, in large trucks. We started putting cameras into those vehicles. But as the price of cameras is coming down and down, it's becoming much more affordable now even for smaller businesses to put cameras inside their vehicles. And that's really amazing because that allows us to do a couple of things. First of all, the owners can kind of see what's going on with their vehicles, not just going to look at it on a map so they can see where they it is. They don't wait for me to call them because I saw you can call this number if there's yeah, bad driving. Yeah, exactly. You can see <laughs> what's going on. Mm. But the cameras are getting intelligent now, and this is kind of where this whole world of AI is going. So okay. the cameras themselves are actually starting to watch a, the way the driver drives, but also what's happening in front of the driver. Oh. And they can start providing guidance back to the driver. So if you're looking drowsy, if you're getting tired, oh, the camera will actually detect blink. that. It oh. looks at blinking, it looks at where you're staring, it looks at distraction, it can look whether you're using your phone when you shouldn't, whether you're smoking, whether you're wearing your seatbelt. Get it for my husband. Exactly. <laughs> but the amazing thing for this about is that, you know, camera technology has really largely been there to see what happened when an accident happened or when an incident uh, happened. It's after the fact. But with this AI so technology, now, okay. what's happening is the camera's warning the driver of something. To avoid So now we're avoiding the danger happening. We're trying to prevent the accident from happening mm. in the first place. And this is the amazing thing about this technology. Absolutely love it. I think I really, really need to get it for my husband. Can I tell you one of the first things that impressed me with you guys? I, it's my first car, by the way, so I can't even compare you guys to anyone else. <laughs> uh, the first day I actually went to pick up the car so um, I'd already bought it and everything and I went to the gentleman to test drive it right. and I was a very new driver I mean even driving home I stopped on the side I was like take the car take the car I can't do this but I got my car from Weebuy Cars Right. and uh, we got into the freeway and the guy pumped the car guess what Netstar called me Ah. Hi, ma'am, are you safe? We're picking up some irregular driving. Right. I was like, oh, wow. Right. Okay, I'm absolutely impressed. Right. So then I just stayed with you guys. So, yeah. so uh, my, my, I'm going to go back. I'm going no, to go we back. take that very seriously. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and again, that's part of the technology that we build. So we, we, we spend a lot and lot of effort, again, machine learning coming back to the same thing, <laughs> to figure out the driver behavior. So how fast uh, do you accelerate? How fast do you brake? 
So have you we been? know when it's not you. Yes, so, so we're game. getting better at that. So that's really where the technology is going. But I love it when you warn us also. It's yes. a hijacking zone. Yes. That's a, a yes. carjacking zone. Exactly. Oh, man. You guys are very quick with that one, yeah. I must say. So, I mean, we put a tremendous amount of effort into our consumer business. And that's why we put so much effort into our mobile app lately. Yeah. To make that more user-friendly, to make it more... To, we listen very closely to what our customers are asking for and we yeah. try and build those features into, into our apps. So what does it mean for you guys to be here today and what, what, what word are you taking out to these small businesses? Um, exactly, what, why are you guys even here? Yeah, so, so I think similar to what I've just talked about, like yeah. I think we have, first of all, two ways. I, I, I spoke just now at the conference just yeah. about what AI is doing and less a direct NetStar message, but... Uh, sort of trying to show small businesses what the power of AI is and how we are using it to make it real. So you're one of the speakers here today? Yes, I've just been speaking, yeah. I I think we also have a stand here at at the conference um, and I think that is a lot about what we can do with our services to help empower small businesses. I think many small businesses, I think, can benefit, like I said, sort of if you're a plumber or you're a florist or you're a small delivery business or, you know, so many businesses rely yeah. on transportation, right? Exactly. And I think having having data around where your vehicles are, around the state of your transportation, helps business owners make better decisions. Yeah. And so we try and try and join that dot between we are responsible for collecting that data mm-hmm. where the where the vehicles are. We're responsible for giving you an app or a program to visualize that data and hopefully help those business owners make better business decisions to make their businesses more efficient. And that's why we think it's applicable to, to this show is because we think that running more efficient businesses makes more profitable businesses and makes us entrepreneurs more successful at the end of the day. Wow. Cliff, how do we keep in touch with you guys, perhaps who are wanting more information, uh, any website, any, well, how do we do it exactly? Yeah, so um, nestar.ca.za is our website. Nice and easy. Yeah, very <laughs> simple. Uh, we've just relaunched two new products um, on Monday, actually, some really nice, again, uh-huh. cheap and effective products. Um, we've just used a product called the Star Tag, uh-huh. which is all about tracking vehicles and making sure we can get them back. Uh-huh. At only 89 rand a month, we think it's a bargain. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's all on our website. Um, we're very active on LinkedIn and on social media. Uh-huh. So if anybody wants to know what kind of what we're doing, feel free to follow us on LinkedIn and social media. I don't know if you ever saw this on social media. A while back, and I think it was my early days of actually getting your device. Um, there was um, like an airplane. It was, I don't know whether it was at the beach or, but it was, it was a, with uh, not even an airplane, a helicopter yes. with NetStar. Yes. And, and somebody said, you know, if guys, when one has stolen a vehicle and they suddenly see this the next, uh, the next, the next thing you hear, the car was abandoned. <laughs> exactly. Oh, it <laughs> because, happens. Because they know if it's next, uh, then they're going to find they're gonna it. They're going to find it, exactly. <laughs> so they're like, you know what, if they don't see the helicopters or if they see a random one, they're not worried because all these other ones, but if they see it with a next sticker, everybody gets out and everybody <laughs> exactly. is gone. <laughs> so, Cliff, thanks for doing an amazing work and thank yeah. you so much for joining me on the show today. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> Share the love, share the truth, share the life on 657 AM. The word for you today is our youth devotional that has been available as a printed booklet and has also been accessible via email. It is intended to encourage and guide young people in their walk with God. Well, we are excited to announce that the youth devotional is going fully digital. This means that the word for you today booklet will no longer be available in hard copy or sent by post, but it will still be accessible on the I Am Youth website, email subscription, and I Am Youth app which is available on both the Google Play Store and App Store for iPhone users. Visit www.imymovement.co.za and join the move to digital. Do you read the Word for Today daily devotionals? We wish to ensure that your copy reaches you on time. You can now receive the booklet directly at an address of your choice or via email if you prefer. It's easy. Visit radiopulpit.co.za, select your choice and update your details. Or SMS the word DEVOTIONAL to 37871. You will receive a reply SMS with the options. Alternatively, contact client services on 012-334-1257. Standard rate supply. You and 657 AM and Life, a winning team on the road to eternity.